The media are finally starting to get it. Donald J. Trump is who he is, and he is not going to change. Now, I've been saying since the day after the election that all this media hand-wringing about, well, these things aren't done this way, and the president-elect, and then the president needs to understand that there are certain norms that need to be followed, and blah, blah, blah. That was always an unrealistic view. Now, I know Trump himself talked during the campaign about, well, you know, if he did make it to the White House, he'd be so presidential, you'd be bored. Um, but he wasn't really serious. This is the style that got him elected, and so it's not really realistic to expect uh, that suddenly he is going to become a cautious, calibrated uh, politician who weighs every word. And if people around him say, well, Mr. President, you shouldn't just be tweeting on all, on all these things, and you shouldn't be uh, calling Chuck Schumer a clown, and you shouldn't be talking about a so-called judge and all of that, I mean, Trump undoubtedly thinks to himself, well, this is uh, what I did during this campaign, and it worked. Nobody thought I was going to win. I'm here, and why should I abandon this style? Now, it's a style that half the country likes and half the country very definitely does not like. So I'm seeing some of these media reports, Washington Post, for example, despite all predictions, says the Post, including his own, the country would see a new, more presidential Trump. Commander-in-chief has barely changed from the impulsive candidate who blew up every political norm that stood between him and the White House. That is true. Goes on to say his White House seems just as chaotic, tumultuous, and discordant as his campaign was. Well, that's a little bit of a negative take on things. But look, there is a price to be paid for, you know, making news 15 times a day on 15 different issues, sometimes in 140 characters. Um, it, 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 he doesn't have that message discipline. and Sometimes he has it for a few days, and then he just lets go. Uh, Politico has a piece, uh, undeniably true about the fact that governing is harder than campaigning. Every new president has a kind of a collision with reality. Uh, so Politico says that, quoting various people around him, is saying that his mood is Kareem between surprise and anger uh, as he's faced the predictable realities of governing and congressional delays over his uh, cabinet picks and the legal fights. Obviously, uh, the prime example of that is the appellate court ruling in the Ninth Circuit holding up his temporary travel ban. Um, this, I think, was always predictable because Trump um, was somebody who ran his own business. He was the center of his own universe. He was the CEO. He basically did what he wanted. And when you become president, and you're probably more prepared for this if you work within the political system, suddenly you've got the courts and the opposition party which they think is the media, the media, the Democrats, even some Republicans, John McCain, for example, don't want to go along with what you say and do, and the bureaucracy, which has been leaking against Trump repeatedly and in a way that I think is, has undermined uh, his White House at times, and special interest groups and all of that. Uh, you know, it's, it's not an easy job. I don't think Trump expected it to be an easy job, but there is a certain relentless nature of it uh, that may, you know, nobody really knows how to be president until you become president. It was true of Barack Obama. It's true of every president, Bill Clinton. They all make mistakes at the beginning. They all don't understand that every word can move markets and can reverberate throughout the political system and indeed across the world. So maybe Trump, you know, will modify his style a little bit. That is, as he adjusts to the reality of life in the White House. But I think the rest of us, the staid, slow-moving culture of Washington and the media, which seem to like things to be done in a very orderly, predictable way, are finally acknowledging the fact that the 45th president does things differently.